it's just it's just a fun experience. Like it's kind of like preparing ourselves for like the actual NFL combine. This is like I don't think this means that much. It's just kind of for us to like us to compete with ourselves a little bit and like compete with last year's times and just improve. Like see the improvements that we're working so hard for. Fun to see you done, you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty closely, or? Yeah. It was awesome. I was sad he got hurt and didn't get to do all the drills, but it's still, I like watching other guys go and like learning what it's like. It was nice having someone that I knew, and he was just telling me like all the stuff they have to do that week, and I was like, it's a lot. Right? It's, yeah. <laughs> he was like, it was crazy. Like, he didn't get enough sleep. But, uh, because you see so much of it on TV. Yeah. Too. Like, so much of it on TV. Yeah. Like, sort of interview, interview. And like, all the doctor visits and all that stuff. He's like, it was just a it was brutal, he said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to it. What is the vibe? I mean, you've been around long enough, going through these conditions and all that. You know, the expectations to be drive year after year. Is that how does that kind of show itself in the locker room as you go through these workouts? Um, uh, over the last few years, how's that kind of manifest? Uh, I think like our whole locker room dynamic since Coach Pete has gotten here has improved like dramatically. Like I remember the like three years ago when we had that six and six season. I went to the Dallas Bowl. Like that was the start of like the transformation. You could really feel from the year before. Like and then that year, you could just feel a different like unity. And like it's kind of just building and carrying over every year. And like obviously the next year after that, we did really well. So we're just trying to keep building off of our like culture and just have a winning culture and be all about hard work and stuff. Does that really show maybe some of the younger guys? You guys are able to show them what what you've done and what's worked. Yeah, that's how like we keep our culture going. The older guys keep it going and pass it down. Like, like Tawny passed it down to me, like how to work hard and like be successful in football. And, like, we just keep every class passes it down to the next class, and it's just a culture that's going to continue. Yeah. What did uh, what what percentage did, uh, did uh, Coach Pete play in the in these you know what sort of Like, what what what, what fact? I mean. The, is it, is it him? Is that why you wanted to stick around in another yeah, season? Or like, uh, it's definitely like all the coaches. You know, I love I love playing for them, and I know they're looking out for my best interest, and they they like I trusted their input, like what they had to say. I know they don't want me just to come back for them. Like it's not for them; it's for me. You know, and I know they're looking out for me. Ten out of fifteen. And yeah, I think the coaches definitely have a big big part in why I stayed. This isn't your first combine out here. Uh, I mean, how, how does this compare to the, the previous seasons? I mean. You, you're in a big re- leadership role now. Uh, yeah. How, how does it how does it compare to the previous ones for you? Uh, well, I didn't even I didn't do the combine last year. I had a pec injury like two days before, but you know I mean it stays pretty much the same every year the combine. But you know it's it's different like being a senior and stuff. So I mean it's pretty much the same though. <laughs> what does it mean to be a husky? What does it mean to be a husky? Oh man, that's a tough question. We're getting deep here. Um, being a Husky is all about like hard work and having class and integrity and like being like good men. I think that's what it means to be a Husky.